post on selectomy bleed. It can be primary or secondary. So primary occurs within the first 24 hours after the procedure and secondary occurs more than 24 hours after the procedure. Most post on selectomy bleeds will present between five and 10 days post-surgery when the fibrin clots sloughs off. Important things to ask about when a patient presents with post on selectomy bleed are when, where, and how much blood they've lost. Did they have any hematomesis or hemoptysis? Any bleeding from the nose? Any blood or metallic taste in the mouth? Any excessive swallowing in young children? And then parents of younger children might tell you that they found some blood on the pillow or uh, drooling from the child's mouth rather than having an active bleed. It is normal for the operative side to look yellowish, white and sloughy after the surgery. This does not mean that there is an infection there. Examine the tonsillar fossae and the patient's throat for fresh bleeding. If there is a clot form there, do not disturb it. If there is active bleeding, try to localise the source. And if the patient is not actively bleeding, look for an old bleeding point or a blood clot in the tonsillar fossa. The majority of cases will resolve spontaneously with medical or conservative management. Very rarely though, sudden severe hemorrhage can occur and can result in death from airway obstruction and shock. All patients who complain of fresh bleeding from the throat post on selectomy does not matter whether it has stopped at this point or not, should be admitted for observation for 12 to 24 hours. And if the patient is actively bleeding, you should alert the registrar um, because these patients might need to go back to theatre. In management, airway comes first. Sit the patient up and encourage them to spit blood into a bowl. Get IV access, send off an FBC, coax screen and group and save. Do not delay calling for an anaesthetist for help in these situations, especially if the patient is actively bleeding or if it's a young child or if it's a patient that you think that will be going back to theatre. Keep the patient nil by mouth until senior year review. Give them IV fluids, analgesia, and decide whether or not to start IV antibiotics and a blood transfusion. IV tranexamic acid could help. There is some strong evidence that it reduces the need for transfusion in surgical bleeding. If patient is not heavily bleeding, you can use some hydrogen peroxide gargles. Um, it can stop a slow bleed and prevent re-bleeding. If the patient continues to bleed after initial management or restarts bleeding after the admission, alert the registrar. If the bleed is very slow and the patient is stable, try to observe the patient for a short period of time with hydrogen peroxide gargles and ice packs. If the bleeding is continuous or heavy, the patient will need to go to the theatre as soon as possible for definitive management.